What's going on guys? It's Brandon here with Roadrunner Sports and today we're reviewing the Brooks Glycerin 19. If you've been watching my reviews, you know that the 18, the previous version to this, was one of my favorite shoes of the year and became one of my daily workhorses and a shoe that I ran in every day. Let's see if the 19 holds up to those expectations. The Glycerin 19 is a package I was completely unexpected of. It showed up at my house and I opened it and I was like, oh my gosh, the Glycerin 19 is here. I'm so excited to go out and run. And honestly, it's been a while since a shoe has showed up and has really got me excited to just get out and run just because I really like the ride of the shoe. Um, so I was really excited to get into the 19. And once I got running, it didn't disappoint. It provided that same cushioned ride and was able to get me from mile to mile to mile. You can go as long as you want in this shoe and you're really not gonna have any problems. I did, however, run into a few issues which I'll get into a little bit later in the video on uh, part of the fit of the shoe. But overall, the midsole of the shoe, the DNA Loft midsole, they have provided more loft and more cushioning than ever before, which is gonna give you a more soft ride. This is a shoe that I'm gonna to continue to run in. And uh, the upper is super, super snug. And the tongue is nice and padded, but it's not a fat tongue, so you're not gonna get kind of just that bulkiness up front. And overall, this is the type of shoe that I'm honestly not untying or tying up. Once I have it fit perfectly snug to my foot, it has the type of fit where I'm able to just slip right in and slip right out because of the plushness of the interior and the sock liner is just soft enough to where you're able to slide in and slide out without having all that, um, I guess, all that stickiness and that, that stick of, a, of more of a narrow, narrower shoe. So this shoe does come in a regular width as well as a wide width, so for all runners out there, you will be able to find a width of this shoe that fits for you. Myself, who tends to have um, some narrowness issues in other models, didn't find that at all with this ish, with this, um, I didn't find that at all with this shoe. Like I said, it has the perfect level of uh, width for me on the regular side, and I'm a size 12. When it comes to the upper of the shoe, overall, I'm really impressed. It's really soft, and it's really just stretchy. It's not kind of elasticy stretchy or mesh and stretchy. It's just kind of a soft fabric, and it's really breathable in the toe area, which I was happy to find. Um, overall, I'm really happy with the ride of the shoe. The outsole here has a ton of rubber, so like I said, this is a shoe that you're going to get a ton of miles in. This is a daily trainer. It doesn't come in heavy at all. It comes in at 10.2 ounces, and that's for like a men's size 9. So this is going to be right in your lineup. Yeah, a bit heavier than your racing shoe, but maybe a bit lighter than your uh, super like plush recovery shoe. This is a shoe that's going to take you around the world, basically. The rubber on this is super thick. I see it lasting for a long time. The rubber is still going strong on my last model of glycerins and I'm excited about this one. I do want to talk about one issue that I had with the shoe that you're definitely going to want to pay attention to. I didn't have any issues at all when I was running in this shoe for any distance. We've gotten about 20 miles in this shoe, the longest stretch of that being about 7 miles. So I haven't ran into any issues, but one thing that did happen to me when I was wearing this shoe for maybe a 12 hour day where I was on my feet the whole time, the heel counter was really rubbing up against my Achilles um, and I was wearing low cut socks and I continued to have to pull those up. By the end of the day, I did have some redness on both of my Achilles. Um, it's not something I ran into while running, but definitely if you're gonna be on your feet for a long time, that's something to take note of. You might want to consider uh, wearing a crew cut sock or higher for this, just to make sure you don't have that issue when you're running. I don't think it takes away from the performance of the shoe. Like I said, it didn't have that when I was running, but I did want to point that out because it was an issue for me and I will make sure that when I'm doing my long days on my feet, as comfortable as these are, I'm going to continue to treat these as running shoes and not the shoe that I am up all, all day in. If you're wearing them around for you know, a work day or something, you're on your feet sporadically, it shouldn't be an issue. But throughout the length of the day, it did become an issue for myself. So, um, Overall, this is a fantastic shoe, definitely one of my favorites. I'm going to continue to keep this up in my lineup all year long. Um, so far this year, I would definitely put this in my top three or four shoes that I've ran in this year. There's another one or two that are coming out later that I'm also really excited about to see if they can round out that top five shoes that I have of the year. And uh, I'm super excited to share that with you when we make that video. But as always, if you want to check out the Brooks Glycerin 19, Check it out at Roadrunner Sports. If you're a VIP, you get 90 days to test run this shoe. If it doesn't work out for you, you can send it back to us, no problems at all. And if you're ordering online, which you probably are if you're watching this video, you get free shipping on all your online orders. So go ahead and check that out. 
Make sure to stay tuned to our channel. We have a ton of great content coming up, obviously more shoe reviews. We have a lot of videos with trainers coming out to help work through running injuries and how to prevent running injuries, of course. And if you haven't seen our Make Every Mile Count series, we're releasing those every single month, which we're really excited about. So please go check it out and subscribe so you're notified for the next one. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out there. I'm gonna run some more miles and I'll see you on the road.